Hey folks, we're going to answer an interesting question about Earth's disaster cycle, except this time from the entire solar system shift perspective. Um, the question was, and I've answered the question before, what's the most telling sign of the solar system shift? And that, you might recall, was the interplanetary space. More ions, more neutrals, more dust. But among the planets, which change is actually the most indicative that there is an actual magnetic shift going on on each of the spheres in the solar system? And that's a really good question because apart from Earth, where we actually can monitor the magnetic field, it's hard to do that at the other planets. You know, on Mars, we've got there's climate change there, there's seismicity changes there, the mantle activates, but all of these things are indirect. It's not a direct measurement of the magnetic field. Neptune's storm reversal, Pluto's atmospheric collapse, these things are indicative, indirect signs that it's happening. But Jupiter actually has the closest thing to a direct indication. You might remember several years ago, it was noted that strange radio frequencies were coming from Jupiter and that those radio frequencies were actually changing. The thing about that is, the radio frequencies that we detect from Jupiter are caused by the electrons whipping around in its magnetic field. And so to get a change in the frequencies that are coming from it, either the nature of an electron has to change, highly unlikely, or the magnetic fields of the planet have to change. And that is precisely what um, I think is the best explanation, what many other people think is the best explanation for this change in the frequencies that is that are coming from Jupiter, uh, because chances are the electrons themselves aren't any different than they are, you know, on Earth, at the sun, a billion miles away. It's not the electrons themselves, the nature of a, that subatomic particle that's changing. It's the thing accelerating them, the thing whipping them around the planet that's changing, and that would be indicative of a change in its magnetic field. And so, yes, we do, despite the fact that we can't really monitor other planets' magnetic fields like we can the Earth, we actually do have pretty darn close to a direct indication that Jupiter's magnetic field is changing just like Earth's is. And yes, of course, uh, we do take all of these other changes at the other planets to be pretty good evidence. Of course, if you're going to include the Sun, and I did stipulate that we're talking about the planets, we do, as a matter of fact, uh, have a way to monitor the sun's magnetic fields, and we do know the sun's magnetic fields are changing. Veteran observers are going to recall that that was the explanation for why the helium chemistry in the corona is changing, because there was a change in the coronal magnetic fields, a systemic one, somewhere between solar cycles 23 and 24. Anyway, yes, we do have some other direct evidence of magnetic fields changing in the solar system, apart from just the Earth. And of course, we have all that other indirect uh, indication as well. So glad to answer that one. It's somewhat complex, but hopefully I uh, was able to put that in a way that made sense. It's not the electrons that are changing. It is the magnetic field of Jupiter that's changing, which is why we're seeing the strange frequencies coming from the planet. Anyway, I will see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.